Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Twilight Princess. So let's go uh, talk to this guard and uh, see about getting that legendary weapon the Elder told us about. Whoa, human? No, no business. This is a forbidden place. Uh, dude, I kind of have permission from the Elder to get what's behind you. But of course, he's hard headed and won't listen to me, so. So we're gonna have to fight the Goron guard. First things first, uh, probably I'd put your iron boots on. So just wait for him to come up and show signs of attacking. And hit him four times, then grab with the A button. And toss him into the lava. It's pretty simple, but uh, it is pretty easy to screw up. I mean, because you don't have much, you know, movement space, or movement speed, rather, while you're in these iron boots. What I like to do is get right on the edge, wait till he's about to attack, and then do the stab attack four times. So that way, when you grab him, you'll just immediately throw him in the lava. Uh, the thing to remember is that Link will always throw the guard directly behind him. So, you know, if you're standing facing the edge of the platform with him right on the edge, then you're just going to toss him straight in the middle, and you won't uh, really get anything accomplished. Yeah, you come on. Don't make little gestures of me. And I find the stab attack is best because it has a longer reach than the other uh, combos you have. So just repeat the same thing three times. And uh, <laughs> in true comedic fashion, he burns his butt on the lava. Oh, that hurt a lot. It's like, uh, maybe you are going to see the Patriarch? No, really? Ah, oh, so that's why you are here. Oh yeah, okay, it's like I owe you something now because you tried to kill me. Alright, yeah, that makes perfect sense. So, the lava mysteriously rises, the doors mysteriously open, and now we can head out. This guy has a really large speak radius, so <laughs> if you're gonna roll away, you know, be careful to do so after you've exited his speak radius. <laughs> I, I should officially coin that term, don't you think? So in here is the legendary weapon from the uh, great hero of old, or whatever, some crap like that. We get the hero's bow! Now the slingshot is really, truly obsolete. You'll never, ever see it again. And we carry up to 30 arrows. That's not bad. Get a slugger. Oh, pfft. Got that cheap shot in on me. Oh, I saw a blue rupee. I think it fell in the lava. Yeah. Okay, so... Let's place the boomerang, I guess. Now that we have the bow, we can... Ah, great, I missed the first shot of the LP. Awesome. Shoot that rope there in order to bring this down. And we, uh... Oh my gosh, I hate those things that just drop down right in front of you. Can you, like, see them up there? Oh, <laughs> well, you dropped arrows for me. Isn't that nice? Let's just hope none drop down on me. So when you approach this thing to move it, it, uh... comes alive at you. And if you haven't figured out, you need to shoot the eye with an arrow. Well, hello. Are you shooting at me too while you are? Alright, so just then take these all out one by one. It'll make your life a lot easier if you just take them all out from here. There we are. Some pretty good shooting there, Tex. Eh, don't worry about that one. Let's come in here, though. And this chest contains... What does it have? What does it have? It's got something good because there's an animation along with it. We have the compass. Yep. So there you go. And uh, if you couldn't guess, this circular room over here on the side is the final elder room. It's got the chest back there and everything. So let's talk to this guy. Oh, don't roll into him, too. That's the second elder I've rolled into now. <laughs> Who have you heard from? You've been sitting here in your little room for the last two knows how long. So we've collected all three key shards, and that's the big key for this temple. It looks kind of mechanical. Uh, I don't know. I think it looks strangely mechanical to be in this place. You know, I think the, the big key would have uh, some sort of lava or something on it for the mines, but whatever. Before we leave, let's obviously get this big chest that's sitting right here behind the guy. With 50 rupees in it. Oh, man. You, sir, are my favorite relative at Christmas. 
So that helps out tremendously. That gives us a lot of rupees. I still don't have quite uh, quite enough yet, but we still have a little bit of the dungeon to go, so... There will still be a few more opportunities to get some rupees. So we've gotten everything there is to get around here. Let's just pull this little statue out. You don't have to pull it all the way, just enough to get through. And if you uh, look at the map down there on the bottom, we're, well, it's not there anymore, but we're about to make a circle back to a room we've been to before. So, yeah, there's a lot of stuff to do around here, too. You know, it's not a lot, it just takes a little while. So, roll into this little fence here, and it'll get knocked down, kill the bats. No problem. Let's make it cross. Watch out for all these slugs that drop down. Spin attack them. Yeah, awesome. Now, there's uh, two Dodongos on this platform over here. Uh, they can be a little bit tricky to deal with, so what I like to do is just shoot some of them with, uh, shoot one of them rather, with your arrows. You can actually get both if you want, but I like conserving, just because that's my style. I ain't got enough room to deal with this guy by himself. Whoa, right on the edge there. Yeah, <laughs> turn around that way. I like that side better. Now, before jumping across blindly to this little platform, look up first. There's a bunch of slugs around. If you're trying to jump across, those things will knock you into the lava, and you got to start this room over. So, pick them off with the arrows first. A lot of them will drop arrows for you. Wow, I was really close. No, climb up. Don't shimmy around. Now, one of them fell there. Three, four, and, uh, yeah, let's just do that. There we go. Hey, look, an arrow bundle. That's, it's nice, though, because these things will drop, like, ten arrows each if they do have an arrow drop, so you, you're really not in any danger of running out here. So now there's another switch here, and uh, it's going to take us up to this little magnetic strip here. There's the Dodongo that I was talking about that's on the ceiling. There's no way you're going to be able to fight this thing uh, with your sword. You really don't have to bother with it as long as you you know stay on your side and just do what you're here to do. Kind of get a nice little upside down, upside down arrow shot in order to open the gate. Don't worry, that's not time. You can spend however long you want. So, But there's really nothing left for us to do. Might as well check for some rupees or something. Oh, nope. Okay, so we have been to this room before, and it is... Yep, it's that big open room from the very beginning. See, I think that, yeah, right there is the entrance to the temple, so... It's really all just one big circle. Anyway, we want to go over here, open this chest. I mean, it's just sitting there waiting for us to come take its 50 rupees. Oh man, they're just handing them to me now. And now we have plenty of rupees to buy all the stuff that I want to buy afterwards. So that's good. Anyway, let's shoot this down. Another switch over here. They're really fond of these weight switches that you have to use your iron boots for. Uh, yeah, and this one moves over here. See, it basically tells you where to go next, even if you're not entirely sure. So now that we're coming back to this little room with the water in it, there's actually uh, new enemies in here. Sort of like the, the fire guys. Oh, well, what do you know? I am going to use this move again. You don't have to, though. I mean, if you want, you can just completely ignore these guys. So now that we're over here, we don't have to do all this magnetic crap anymore. We can just shoot an arrow with the switch. These two guys have respawned for some reason. I don't think I'll get both of them. No. And we can also deal with these Beemoses now. Just continue onward. Yeah, it's not really a whole lot to say at this part. It's just kind of backtracking for right now. But if you look on the map, there's that purple dot over there on the left. That means that is the boss room. So, we're getting pretty close. Let's see, one more hit. You can actually take care of these archers now if you'd like. Let's pick them off one by one. Oh, that's a torch. <laughs> I always get the torches and the actual archers confused. Get him, get him, and him. Oh, there's one up here. There we go. See, that was no trouble. 
now that we have the bow and arrows, we can take care of this Beemos guy over here, too. Whoa, he actually saw me for a second. <laughs> that kind of freaked me out at first. Get some more arrows, and we're back full again. So when you pull this out, it opens up a new passage that we can go through. So let's do that real quick. Come up here. And now we're introduced to sort of these explosive barrels. These guys, I think, oh, they don't shoot them automatically, but as you can see, there's this barrel up here by those uh, two moblins, and if you couldn't guess, when you shoot it, it explodes, killing them both. So, killing two uh, two moblins with one shot should be a new, uh, a new turn of phrase. But anyway, we're quickly running out of time, so the next part, we should be finishing up the uh, Goron Mines here. So, until then, thanks for watching. See you later.